Hello everyone, this is going to be a little build video, kind of a new little series that I'm doing where I'm going to be showcasing the full build process of a copperhead plastic ant weight that I'm working on. I've made a ton of plastic ant weights before, you see some videos here, first right here is Crippling National Debt Fighting, which was a bot by Filling Buddy, and of course this free stream right here, the laser of the last two bots we made, decided for the next build I wanted to do, I wanted to go down the replica angle that of course I've done with a lot of my solid, my smaller scale bots, of course you probably just saw my little malice recently, gonna recreate Copperhead in this one pound plastic ant weight scale, and then go and hopefully compete with it eventually up at school with me, I have about a... 10 week and 10 day week and a half ish time frame to get this thing made so it's going to be a nice little speedy build a nice little fun project to show a bit more a bit of the accuracy and kind of like detailing side of making bots and also a little bit more of the construction and i don't know i don't know really know what i'm trying to say but either way i'm going to show how i'm going to make a one one pound version of copperhead So here we have got the file for the modified copperhead and for this base version that I made that was kind of just a replica. So first getting over to this modified one, as you can see, differences, of course we've got like motors for like screw patterns and then there's of course just different screw holes. But going through the process of kind of moving this over from this original base file, I basically just took all the main parts, so for example like this, the two side guards, the wheels, the top plate other like frame parts and then the main drum is all I really needed to modify and that's basically all that's in this file but I did make this little cross tie that's in the middle that I believe is on the real one forever fights horizontals so in getting to some of the main parts of this modified file we of course have the two drive motors that are be mounted in here not really any fancy mounts just a bit of glue and whatever and it should be pretty much fine we got both of these side parts mounted to the bottom this bottom part is pretty thick and countersunk so that the screws don't poke out at the bottom same for this little cross tie thing up at the front we got the drum drum is pretty much balanced might be a little bit rough but it should be fine it actually now that i realize these are offset that's gonna annoy the hell out of me i'll deal with that later but either way we do have the motor file also for this uh weapon motor that's going to be in here it's not a perfect file but it's just rough enough just so i know what i'm doing of course screw patterns and everything else all the details will be added on later but it should hopefully be pretty good durability wise i'm hoping to make pretty much these side guards will be a good bit of wall thickness but maybe not super high on infill because it seems like it doesn't really need to be full infill as long as it has quite a lot of wall thickness this drum probably are going to make one with full infill and one without full infill but we'll see i'm not sure i'm not going to hurt myself over it we'll try a few things then if it gets if i have a good bit of weight then i'll make it probably and be able to run with the heaviest possible drum but we will see these wheels are currently not modified but i have wheels that i know will work for them or i can also cast my own so that should be pretty good and we also do have a little bit of weight space saving room on the big walls right here which are kind of on the real one i did kind of modify those a little bit and then of course for internal space it's not great but Hopefully it should be enough because it's all kind of just like one big box. I'm not not too worried right now being able to cram everything in there, but that's going to be something that we're going to have to wait and see on when we get to that point. Next time, you see, hopefully we'll be of some parts printed and kind of all together. Here's the chassis kind of all roughly like put together as to what it'll be. So as you can see, it's, you know, pretty Copperhead-esque. It's obviously not going to be like perfect, but I think it's about as perfect as I think I'm going to be able to get it. And then, of course, you have the drum, which will slot somewhere in here. So, in the end, it should look relatively, it should look relatively close to Copperhead. I just still have to do the, uh, the back, the front little part here, and then, of course, the top. And, of course, I'm going to re reprint uh, these two parts because the support was kind of goofy, but these work as backup parts. And then, of course, I'll probably end up printing a couple drums. But this drum did actually turn out really good, which is nice, because I originally was just going to run it as a test print. But this is definitely something that I'll be able to use for this. And it seems to be pretty balanced, which is good. It was a little bit worried, because it said on the settings it was going to be a bit iffy, but this definitely seemed to work pretty good. And if I do have weight, I can move up to it a full infill drum. This one is basically just, I believe, like five or six wall drum with a bit lower infill so that it doesn't take up too much weight because for the first one I don't want to nudge against the weight limit too much but that drum does look quite good. So I think that's going to be it for now because you kind of see like some of the parts we like of course 
the motor stick out. There's no, there's no super good way mount them. We're just gonna glue them in and then call it a day for this because space is just so limited on the stupid thing. Of course, again, then of course you got little things, tabs there to put them in. But I think that's gonna be where I'm probably gonna call this for now. Uh, hopefully for next one, I'll show a bit more progress, hopefully with these back parts here. Maybe electronics, I don't know. Either way, this will be a mini series just to post something, because why not? I'll uh, see you guys next time.